utility here and push the base mono so it doesn't duplicate and so I want to have because I must use the output as dual not in mono because if I amplify it amplifies in stereo not in mono so if the sound stays like this it stays on the all around the room so I'm just going to turn the bass mono like 160 hertz let's see and this is what I'm going to do to my kick okay so it's basically like when you plug like an electric guitar it doesn't have a plug like a guitar it has like uh, metallic strings. If you plug it, a guitar into an amplifier, you amplify the guitar and you have a sound of electric guitar. So why shouldn't we do that to kicks? It sounds lovely. So I'm going to turn it and amplify is really hell yeah. He has a lovely kick. Like, and I only use one layer for the kick. I don't use like multiple layers. I just use this kick only. And yeah. Uh, so back to the kick. Amp is done. Let's see if this is the right one like the, the the right amount of volume for the for the um, for the amp so here i've done like a, just a small dub rumble because i have this it's just an operator then shaped from my way like my dub chords and stuff and i'm gonna skip this part because this is like stuff that i've done for myself already so um what i've done here is so i, I it's this one all right so this is just a rumble okay just something like to follow the kick up. And it's a really, it's a simple chord. What is it? Sorry. Yeah, here. So on the C1, between C1, C0, C1, okay, lower, lower, lower end, and which sounds pretty cool already. Just a continuous sound. Because I, I don't like to make the bass from the kick, you see. I like to make the tail with another element, so it sounds that's that rumbling element. And with the amp, powerful, all right? But we need to equalize this. Remember, it's really important. We need really to equalize this. So uh, what I'm doing here, I'm going to take this one off. Because if I take this, it's a dub shot, really like a bass line. And I use a lot because when I'm producing, because I don't have much time nowadays to produce because I'm traveling a lot, so I need to improve myself to, and be smart to do bass lines and heavy stuff. So I use a lot of drum buzz. It was really helpful when, the, when, it, when the, it was introduced to Ableton 10. So I just plug it to like a regular bass line. Here, check the filter, low filter, only one. Yeah, only one, uh, only one um, part of it's working now here, and then I have the drum buzz on, and and Ableton has this device, this this thing that I really like to do. It's the bass check, which can ch you can check the low end here on the 50 hertz, which I just turn it on and it cuts all the click, all the info, like all the higher frequencies are locked and boosts the low end at its best and but we need to equalize it okay so i'm gonna be uh, is it eq8 so you see it's a lot of low end it's not necessary this so back to the kick uh i have 40 hertz cut so i'm gonna i like to do this like sh the straight cut plus four, and I'm going to cut it to 45, okay? So we have like frequencies like this, like brothers, you know, like parallel. And so it gives space to the kick and the elements roll and then we, but let's continue. I'm going to low it down more because I like to produce a bit low. I'm going to put the kick less, let's see, like less. 14 and the, this rumble less 20 let's keep it like this because now we're going to try to do the the, um, the rumble synth okay so i'm going to use a oper uh, operator midi uh, 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 instruments drum synth operator <laughs> so we're going to use one oscillator here on the sign and which going to do like Right? 
but we need no here meat 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 is better all right so let's see now it's a part i don't know because i don't play piano i don't i don't follow keys okay so i do everything by my ears okay i don't follow zero keys i don't follow because i think if you start to follow keys your sounds are going to start to sound more melodic and my sound maybe sounds melodic at some point but I like to sound dissonant and if you follow keys your sounds are going to be more melodic if you don't follow the key your sounds more dissonant which is cool okay but I like melodic stuff too which I'll <laughs> so let's see what we have here so I'm going to put this a 16 lower no the mouse is the no all right let's see freestyle Freestyle, freestyling. We all is freestyling. Let me take the kick off. I'm gonna do a shorter one. Let me take this off. Ah, let me do something because I'm doing something here. Really, all right. So easier. As you can see, my bass. It's you see the track delay here. I use it a lot, the track delay, so it kind of, it's like a, if you're using the starting point on a different part, you can do here, like, okay, you can move it here, but I don't know, stupid as I am, I prefer to use a track delay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, because it has like a delay on the beginning when you start, so I'm just going to record this rumble really quick. So, no, I need an uh, audio track. Two... Record and just and this one, ciao. And, and we have rumble here. And it starts on the place, all right? So now let's try to do the operator here. Mm, don't think so. Now it sounds a bit melodic, so I'm going to try to define it. No, lower. Better, 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 better. So this one, because I'm, and so this I'm using now the two oscillators at the side with the sine wave, okay? And then I'm going to maybe let's see if I. And I'm not following the key, and it sounds already pretty much good. But I need to reduce the volume. And now comes the, the uh, 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 equalizer. Let's see. I need to cut these parts, all these, all these. So this one, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be cutting it at because I need the cut with more amplify, you know. So it kind of reaches a bit the low end, gives space to the other low end here, and the kick here. So these are the three elements they're gonna do build the low end for the track. Let's boost this one a bit more. Let's see them together. Yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. What do you think? Let's see. So now I'm gonna just a bit of reverb. I'm gonna use the stock stuff here from from uh, Ableton, but I think sometimes the reverb from Ableton is a bit weak. So I'm I hold these. I use sometimes. Um, 
Uh, what is it? The um, oh man, I'm I'm getting old. I start to forget the names, man. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. No, not the amp. It's too much. Maybe it's some overdrive. Yeah, just a bit. But we could. Let's see another note here. Better. Bit more. Sounds good with the bass line. Good. We keep it for now. Let's try something here because I bought this. I'm all this uh, sneaky. Too much. Nah, too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. We keep it like this. Maybe a bit of overdrive in it will help to improve the sound. And uh, 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 what is it? Overdrive. Just a tiny. Not too, too much. So put it. Let's tune. Just a bit of color on the mids. I really like to use it. All right, we keep it. So, okay, so we have the kick, the rumble, and the lower synth mids rolling. I'm gonna pass to the rhythms. So, I'm gonna try to use here the simple bang that if you guys want, I can leave it the samples here if you don't, if you want it. All right. <laughs> All right. So these are samples from the 90s that I use a lot. I have good friends, good old friends <laughs> that they passed me these through times. And uh, basically these are raw cuts from records. Okay. So uh, this is like drum loops. And they are not synced. So you need to sync them. It's tricky, but I'll leave them. But I want you to do like whatever you guys want. So. So let's find like mids and highs now. No. Let's see what we can do. So straight cut from here. And as you can see, it doesn't start from the beginning. So I need to, I'm gonna put here on the 16 because it helps from the starting points. And the starting point starts from around here. And if you double click on the right, and set set from here, it will help you to put right on the place. And let's see, we just want to use a short one, so I just need these very beginning parts. Let's see. Pretty basic stuff. Amp. The amp just brings everything up. And then we need to of course, equalize it again. Because he has a lot of... And now we're going to cut some parts here. So this is the part I enjoy the most on Ableton that you can do in other DAWs. It's the clip gain volume. So you can draw your own envelopes. So maybe are, there are some few of them that are not on the right position. And I'm just going to use the command A, U, no, here, U, because if you do command U or control U, it, and you select the parts you want, it puts all the right moments, all the transients on the lines. It helps a lot. It's really nice. And now it's straight, but we need to change this. So that's when it comes the track delay. So let's add less hundred on the track delay. Not doesn't sound cool, but it's already grooving, and this is the way I found out my, find out my like more groovy sounds was with the track delays. But we need to change these parts, so now we can start to change, cut them. No, no, no. Getting better, getting better, getting better.
and these elements, these rolling elements are cool because they fit together with the low end. So I just let him roll. I'm not a picky guy when it comes to cut a lot of frequencies because it starts to feel weak, you know, and I like it. And if you want to sound it more raw and analog, I'm not a picky guy when it comes to cutting frequencies. And let's listen without. Sounds better without. But it's really high. And we're gonna do something like here. So I'm gonna use the beats mode, transient style here. First row, first arrow to the right. And because this is just gonna be one of the parts from the mid and from the uh, rhythm part, okay? All right, so drum loops. I'm okay with this one. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna keep searching here on my. Some congas, let's try some congas. Let's go. All right, pretty ugly here. So again, set, you go to the starting point of the, the loop and then it will be way easier for you to control, but on the 16 here. Let's see how it sounds. It's always <laughs> tricky when it comes. This one doesn't sound pretty good. Let's see with the last hundred. Can work with this. Let's group them. Let's start to do the groups and I, we need to solo them. So, this one, mostly this one. He has the kick, we need to cut the kick. It's clicking because we don't need another click, another kick here. So, we go again to the um, uh, wa waveform and we're gonna again clip again and we gonna, you know, if you press the letter B, it becomes the, um, the pen, so I'm just gonna kick, kick a bit. We just want the congas, we don't want the kick. And together. This one has a bit of click too, so let's take it off too. And they start to get organized together. See? Yeah, you can see. Sounds better. Sounds better, like this. So, then on this way I can control both samples to read between them. Let's see, less. Maybe it sounds fresh. No, it sounds like fresh. Better like this. Let's keep it simple. Let's add some to this one. Some delay. Here on the delay, I have regular delay, ping pong delay. 3 3. Let's change to 3 4. And let's add some reverb. The reverb sounds like shit. Sorry. <laughs> let's put a bit more stereo, less size and less decay. Because he helps a bit to improve more the sound. Yeah, better. Yeah, it's okay. Pretty late, it's okay. I like to use the pre-delay because he has like, you know, like has a bit of different, a, a, a bit of decay on the sound. It doesn't start on the right moment, and it gives like, it looks like a second element and a cloud behind the track. So he helps to improve the sound. I, I love reverbs every time. On this one, let's try. 
No. The... Like this. like this. This is just the rumble part. We need to do the hi-hat now and the hi-hat I will do with uh, just a regular instrument here with, um, uh, with the drums, with the... I, li I like to use the, um, the, nine, the 808 here because it really breaks through the, the mix. I love it, the hi-hat. The, the hi it's really thin thick but super super nice. So we're gonna use the closed heads. Let's see how it sounds. It breaks through the mix right away. We can this one be lower and then I'm starting to get sick of this synth. <laughs> Let's see what, what we can do here. I'm gonna duplicate and do another one. Because I think it's getting a bit annoying because like this sounds good. And we and what I have think here is this synth is taking a lot of attention from the high details. So it sounds better like this. And we're gonna find a better one for this one. And then we're gonna ciao amigo. Oh, wait. Yeah, like this. We're gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to, maybe I'll go more dub techno, like groovy dub techno. So let's try to find out something here. Okay, so I have my dub techno. Uh, what is it? Dub. On the instruments, on the operator, on the dub. Okay, so. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right here, but lower. I know it's it's this one. Yeah, it's this. Okay. Let's find a good chord now. All these three and classic dub chords. Let's see. What are they? What are they? Sorry, guys. Done. Okay. Easier. Easier. So. And now we need to fit. Maybe you can go more derby. I think it would be better. I think it would sound better. So let's see. But what, for me, the most important part of dub, it's the reverb, re like long decays and spaced things. I love it since my very beginning of production. So I'm gonna use the reverb inside this dub and I'm put it like a bit longer, maybe a longer length loop. Because you have space to breathe and you can fill in with more elements, it's nice. We can have like good answers between elements. So I'm gonna use something that you guys might that might don't have, but I I'm using it a lot lately, which is that the stuff from Arturia. But I'm gonna yeah, the reverb intensity. It works really good for this one. It's a really simple reverb. He has a really really good size. Nice, and he has really good stereo. So we're gonna put here on the dress, and no, not this one. I'm gonna keep it simple. Damping, more dry wet, no gain, no feedback, decay, yeah.
And now comes the other group that we're not playing. Let's have more. You see, I'm amping the other two elements and the group at the same time. And what do you think? All good? Yeah. Till now? So here now, let's get back to the scenes. Classic dub scenes. And now it's when it comes my favorite part, LFOs. This is the best rig so you can keep an uh, element rolling the entire track and you're not gonna get tired of it. So map and we're gonna map the frequency. But we need to be careful. I'm gonna give you some good tips about it. And it's changing all the time. And you can do, apply this with eight of them to every steps you have. And it's going to have change all the time. And it's going to sound lovely. So let's get back to this one. I'm going to keep it simple. Just use one. So you have here the rates. So this is the bottom that it reached from the frequency. And the top and the hundred, which is the top part of the frequency. So we, we need to match between them. So I'm going to use like 40, which is going to give like a good low end. And maybe 70 re doesn't reach the maximum point of the, of the frequencies, but it still has some good frequency points to it. So let's see. A bit faster or slower. More, let's add more. 80. Nice. All the time. Let's see with the track now. We'll take it for now. And now we're gonna duplicate this one. And we need to do uh, after reaction to this one. So I'm gonna change the starting point here. I'm gonna be stupid again because I use this one. I don't, don't use the other one. I don't know why <laughs> again. So, and let's see with the uh, higher octave. But if you hide the octave, you need to reduce the volume. Watch out, really, because it gets really loud, really loud. And maybe we change the starting point to not the right one, but oh great, Ming Dumb again. Let's see. No longer one. Because the low one is a more important, so it rolls. Uh, two steps, two, two of length here. So this one I'm going to put it on the four. So we have like four bar loop, okay? We need to be careful with it. We need to be more detailed. I think we need to up one. Gets a bit melodic, but it's dub techno, it's okay. <laughs> So let's see, maybe not the best position for it. So we're gonna put it straight again. Clicks on the same one, I don't like it. Let's see maybe here. Better, okay. And we need to add some changes on this one. So what I'm going to use the, here, it's a really, really cool trick, which is, so Arturia has this, you guys work the, with Arturia, some of you guys, Arturia stuff, the effects. Okay, Arturia has the mini filter, which is my favorite filter because it's a sequence filter and you can add rhythm to the filter. It's insane, really good. This is really small, my God, I can, my screen is bigger. All right, so 
I use a lot of these presets. I'll tell you guys straight. I love these presets. The second step, the just a step sequencer. And it's insanely good. Let's see how it sounds. And now we're gonna use the cutoff here. Details, mind, brain, brain, brain dancing. So, <laughs> again, LFO, and we're gonna play with the stuff again. With the out of the cutoff. But you need to be careful again with this. So this one I'm gonna put it like, I really like to use it here on the nine. And I'm gonna use like 40 again. And on the 80 again, maybe too much. Let's see how, it's, how it reacts with the dub chords. Be nice. Cutting, cutting, we need to cut. It's a lot of frequencies, mixing. Be nice. A bit more deeper than I was thinking it's about to do, but I think it came out pretty nice now. Alright. I think we need more rhythm now. I'm I'm kinda happy with the dub part of it, but we need more rhythm. So I'm gonna do another Another track here, MIDI track. No, not a MIDI track, audio track. Let's, let's keep with the samples, because I want to, you to learn more about sampling, because I really like to do it. It's really easy. And sometimes computers are getting old and tired, and, and audio, it's, it's not so heavy for the computer, as you guys know. Let's find some sample. Maybe we got something. Let's see. Again, click on the right, sets one from here. 16, easier, perfect tempo. And let's see how it rolls, because I want something here more rhythmic. Again, woo. Come out good, right away. I think I need more info because that's the thing with the, the dub chords. If you use long dub chords, you need to fill in because sometimes it's gonna feel like really empty and you know it's a lot of space. So we need to cut the kicks again. So we come here again to the clip, gain, gain, B. Maybe this one is good because he has like a clap on it. And I like this element too. Whoop! So we can try to do something here, funny. So we duplicate this one. We keep this part low, okay? We'll take that one, but it's a bit too sharp. And as you can see, I'm not, I'm not even cutting the other ones. I'm not putting everything. Let's see. What better, better. Let's, let's put everything on the same place. No swing today. Okay, so you again. And we do this part here. So, because I want the whoop, that funky hoop. Fortunately, he has a clap on top. But let's see without the... Less amp, more volume. We're gonna group this one again. I love to do groups when I when I get 
imagine like I, when I, I like to use like as you guys saw before, I use like two two sound two samples to do one sound. So when I get happy with it, I group it and then maybe I'll record it so I keep the track simple. So I don't have like usually I have like 14 tracks by like 14, 15 tracks by by a project maximum. And let's. This was good. Maybe you can find. Let me see. But I, I, let me show more stuff, because here we just don't. don't we I don't just not only have rhythms. I have vocals too. So maybe I have whoop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's going oh, good. I, like it. I like it. Go. No, no. We can use this one. Whoop. Just this one. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, but we need to be really be careful again with it. So we just need this tiny, tiny, tiny part. But now we do this. Nice. Let's put it on the right position now. Because it's... No. So we're going to put it from here. It's easier to do and short no maybe too short let's do one length here now we need to find the position no here. Maybe here. It's here. Nice. Funky. Funky dub techno. Let's go. Amp, beat of amp, I always like the, the amp and the... Let's listen to the track. And I, I don't, I think it's too high. Maybe the pitch we can reduce it. The pitch, two. No. I think it's the right pitch. The, whoop, the first one. Let me just add like a EQ height here, really quick. A lot of bass lines here. A lot of lower information that we don't need, but we don't. We don't cut like this. Volume. Upper. Watch out with the frequencies. Right. Uh, now, what we do? We, we need more. So these ones are pretty nice. All right. Let's add like a, maybe a shaker. I need a shaker. Maybe it needs a, like a just a tiny, tiny, tiny shaker. So let me write here shaker. Maybe it helps to. No. No, I need like uh, just a, like a shaker right away. No, 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 no. Only one shot. All right. Ah, no, no, no. Let's take this one. Let's try it. Too much. Now we just need highs. Okay, it needs a bit more highs. So what I'm gonna do is EQ eight. And try. It's getting a bit weird here, so I'm just gonna use this part. Sixteen again. Sixteen again, and we're gonna short it again with the transients on the beats mode. Shorter the better. Shorter the better.
Ja. Let's group the dub the, the chords too, because I'm, I'm gonna equalize the, just a tiny equalize, just a tiny EQ here, and maybe some. Bit of amp. Let me just put. Yeah. You already have a good waveform, pretty clear on the mids, but he has a lot of information because of these, these sprinkles, these little birds here in the mids. So I'm gonna keep it like this. Let me just check something. All right. So now, I've, I'm gonna just maybe, 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 maybe add just a, a clap just to keep things rolling and then I'm gonna maybe just do like a tiny arrangement so you guys can have an idea because uh, 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 so clap I'm gonna use the clap from the 808 again I really like it it's good it's, it's strong and breaks the mix because we need something to break the mix because we have a lot of information from these elements it's a pretty noisy track already so drums 808 Maybe the let's let's try the 808. If you don't like it, we, we change it. So pretty simple track, really old school, but it's it never fails, ne never disappoints. Check the end. And I think for the final element, we maybe need uh, just a right. I'm not going to use pads today. I'm not going to pads today. Pads are too crazy to do. I love it, but it's too crazy to do. And then I'll take a really long time, and I don't want to want to try to be shortest and shortest and and uh, simple. So let's see. So we already have the clap here on the four four. Like maybe, let's see. The hood is a really important element here, so we need to shut down sometimes, but I think it's pretty accurate. Alright, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, just a quick mix to it. Uh, I'm just gonna, because I'm, I'm kind of happy with the mix already, so I'm just gonna reduce these all like to like 4 dBs. One, two, three, four. I like to leave on the master around like less three to less six. Doesn't matter. There's, there's no rule for that. We just need like some dynamics to it. But let's do. Need lower. But it's the right. Now we have some dynamics. I'm just gonna add because um, when I when I finish this part of the live 
format, when I pass through the arrangement mode, when I start to draw the track, I, I introduce here just because I'm, I'm not a master engineer, I'm just a producer. I don't get, I don't understand like almost nothing about mastering. Because when I want to do something, some mastering, I have my good friend Tomudu that you all guys know. <laughs> that, that's the stuff for me. So I'm just going to use um, a glue compressor just to pull up the highs. Because. So. We have some noise here that. I, this one? All right. I'm gonna record it because he has like these these thing rolling, so I'm just gonna record it really quick. Sometimes he does these tricks. I'm just gonna do this really fast. Mid love. Done. We put it on the same. And we just want this part, right? The loud, the loud, the loudest one. No error. Nice. Sometimes Ableton and the samples has like these particular things. So if it starts like this and they feel like he has like a louder like volume in it, record it. You can grab the part, you don't have it, and you don't have more errors or clippings on anything. All right, so here in the master, I'm going to add just reduce the threshold. Until I feel my ears comfortable, I'm going to reduce the threshold until I feel the track is comfortable and bouncy at the same time. We can, because I'm, I'm going to put some volume in it. And it's going to sound pretty loud. So we have like more four, more four. Let's clip it. Let's clip a bit. It's four, nine, and then clip it. Some frequencies that we should improve and stuff, but that's like really like deep details and I don't want to lose our precious time with it. I'm kind of happy with the master, so I'm going to move to the arrangement mode, all right? Any questions? Yes. Please. Bro, Ableton, I found is it uh, or charts alone or manually? Uh, the, the, what, 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 say? Bro, so why is it in Espanol? No, all good, of course. Ableton equaliza todos los acordes sí. solo. Solo. O manualmente. Uh, no, no, manualmente. Manualmente. Yeah, manualmente. Claro, Cada claro. Sí, sí, de de claro, sí, siempre, siempre, siempre. Manual, siempre. Siempre. Vale, bro. Vale, <laughs> all good. All good. So here, let's see. Actually, you was well reminded. I need to EQ this one really quick. Yeah, this is like too much. But we don't, but we like, we don't like too much, but too, not too less. It's okay. I think we need less here and more here, and a bit faster, maybe. Because now we can f listen the low end. Well reminded. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so let's go to the other process. Okay, so I'm gonna try to be quick. What time is it? Let me check. Okay. I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible. All right, so here we come here, by the way. Quick as possible. Okay, we have everything in the place. So now we're just going to do this and we're going to just arrange this one right over here. We have more elements here. It's going to be quick. More, 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 more. Mm -mm. These tiny ones. Uh. Okay, now, all good. We have everything on the place. Let's listen to it. All good. 
We have a lot of stuff rolling. So for me, what's the best part when it comes to the arrangement part? I like to put, I don't know, this track maybe can have like five minutes. So we just... What, what, what this, are, this is obliges me and makes and it's made me, make me, make me see the end of the track already. So now I have like almost an idea what the track should be. And now we just need to chop, chop and cut parts, okay? And this is the fastest way to do, for me to do music. Let's put one more here. So we have like a perfect arrangement. Let's go. Really squared one, but all good to be taken. All right, so the rides, no, 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 my God, no, right away off. Maybe here, yeah, claps, no, maybe here, two, yeah, and what do you have? This is the shaker, really loud shaker, I really like this shaker, the shaker this like puts a lot of rhythm to the track, so we take it like louder, so my track is going to look like an inverted pyramid. Like here, like really coming up and coming down. Yeah, flowing always. So the dub chords, what we should do, this one, it's not starting now to the tiny one. No, we can do something better. We can use auto filters on it. So um, what I can do with the auto filter here is super easy. I'm just going to use it on each track because one of the things is when you use auto filter on the group, it doesn't cut the entire frequencies of it, okay? So it just cuts like tiny parts, so you're going to have, I can show you, easier. If you do this. Still has frequencies, it doesn't work like properly. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use on each track, auto filters. And I'm going to pass to, so M, ah, automations, let's go. So here on the first one. We can put it like lower, like this. Mm -mm -mm. Oh no, 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 I'm messing on the volume. I never, I mess, I never mess with volumes. I always let the volumes free because I like to mix some, sometimes my tracks. If I want to mix, mix with volumes, I use utilities, okay? It's better and it's way more free. You can, because these, you, I leave all these for the mixing part because I'm producing and mixing at the same time, okay? Easier for understand. Let's. This one. So this one could have like longer length. And this one a longer length like this. Okay, so we're gonna do something really smooth here. And we need to cut rhythms here. Let's go, let's listen. Let me just put the name here. Like the who easier. But listen, just just the conga. Okay, so this one goes on top, and let me just change the colors just for from the tracks. It's easier for me to visualize. We keep it simple, and we're gonna keep the the head right away and these are we keep this one from the beginning till the end i like to do this like we it's like lo really loopy stuff and the who maybe comes here when i do the first breakdown to start to put more elements okay again I use a lot of locators because sometimes my projects are a mess and it's easier to visualize where I put the kick or I take the kick off. So this is going to be the first breakdown moment to introduce the who moment, okay? So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going in here to the kick because my kick 
is my I, I, I don't use ghost kicks. Actually, I'm not using even not even um, um, side chain because it's draw here like good anyways. I'm just gonna put it on the baseline just in case it doesn't damage the the kick. So the so from this one, this is pretty easy. Trash on the side, trash, we just reduce the trash, side chain to the kick, and more ratio, we cut it here, no EQ, straight, we just need some volume sign, and it's pretty good. Man, really deep, and a bit more volume, pretty nice. Okay, cool. So, uh, you know, you guys know if you take the kick like this, you're gonna lose the side chain signal. So I work with on and off, okay? Like this. Oh no, here. On the on and off. So you click here and you do on and off automations. Okay, let's listen. Even this one, maybe even this one comes a bit later. I like to not do like fake, fake drops. All the elements and they are gonna sound lovely like this. Let's cut it, cut them all. Cut them all. Not just all, but we leave the who and these ones we shut them too. Just these tiny parts. Let's see how, how it how it sounds. <laughs> much for the first part we need this part on the drop it's too much so we uncut it we just put it here maybe we let's see better better Shorter, shorter, shorter. Without excuses. Break. 
the same scenes at a really long period and it I'm not getting bored my, even myself I don't know about you guys <laughs> but it's good the filtering because it's, it's always changing the vibe so now ears we're going to do the breakdown okay breakdown Cut a lot of stuff. So let me think about drop will be here. I think should be fine. We can do maybe a longer break and then we add a bit more tail to the end of the track, okay? Because with this I like to do like this big dub tech this big room dub tech for tracks with long long breaks usually. I like to do it. It's good like it's like DJ friend friendly tracks. cool part the reverses that everybody's using a lot we do the reverse on this one let's use the reverb here too so all right tricky parts nice ones we shut them let's see I'm gonna do something here that let's just listen first we need to listen first Okay, not so bad, but we need to improve this part. So what should we do here? The who should stop here, we need to add delay here. Maximum delay, like bam. And this one shuts here again. And we'd leave just the to high, the the top one on the the one the, the higher one on top. And just a clap. The right comes after. Like here.
the congas. I'll leave it detailed just for the DJ friendlies to be easier and so you can have time. You can go to the bathroom and back to the woods and it's good. Okay, so this is basically how I can build a track. I think it was the quickest one I made in the, like, in the last year. But yeah, I think I need like a lot of stuff should be improved, but I think I'm like in one hour and a half I can do like something like this. I think it was good enough. I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah. All good? Yeah. Can I order your winter? Did you get your name? What's your name again? Vil. Vil. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really, thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't expect to go so the techno, but <laughs> it's what came out. I'm not in a good. Uh, it's cut off? Yeah. Okay. I'm not in a really inspired moment because I'm touring a lot and when, I come, when it comes to production, I need to do breaks to. Think maybe when I go back here from South America, I'll take a weekend break and take all your rhythms here from the south <laughs> and try to improve something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I, I had a lot of fun. It was super cool. Yeah, muchas gracias. I'll play the track. <laughs> you must have it now. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what? What's the name? The track? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Who? 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 No. Who? 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 Let's name it who? Uh, nada, mañana, eh, Victor en Galería Convexa, en una fiesta de Panel Records. Eh, ojalá se puedan ir, sería increíble. Eh, le adelantamos que toca de una a cuatro, tres horitas. Así que va a estar entretenidísimo. Let's nada, go. Ojalá le haya gustado la Masterclass. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, very nice. So, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. See you. See you. Nice to meet you. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. <laughs>